Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Kikeli and today I'm just going to be talking about making money online. A lot of people have approached me with this topic wanting to find out and wanting to make money online. I'm sure you're one of them. That's why you're seeing this video. And I think the general notion is that once you, you get online by tomorrow, money has to be in the bank. But it doesn't work like that. It takes a whole lot of things and I think you, you need to get the fundamentals. You need to have a basic understanding of what it is that you're going to be doing online because you can't just jump into it like that and expect to have some kind of results. I'm just going to break it down into um, three segments that I've created, which I think most online jobs fall into or ways of making money online fall into. The dawn of the internet brought a lot of things. Um, a lot of people said the internet was just there to replace the fax machine. Uh, personally, I've never used the fax machine before. I don't even know how it works. But then the internet is basically a medium to transfer data. So for example, if, if I have a message to send to someone who is on the other side of the world, I could just send them an email through the internet, use a service such as an email, the person receives it and the person can use that data or use that information for whatever they need to do. That's basically what the internet does for us. And that's why we call this age the information age. We are basically sharing information. We are basically um, using information to make money and to make our lives easier. All right. So, I think the first form of online jobs is through administrative jobs. Administrative jobs are jobs that may require quite a lot of time and not so much skill in order for you to do it. Okay, something like typing. Once you are able to type, it's something that can be given out to people. Hey, I need someone to type out this voice recording of this meeting. I need everything typed out perfectly, exactly as it was said in the meeting. Instead of using so much time to do that, I could just outsource that to anybody on the internet. And once they have the skill, they know how to type, um, they'll be able to do that job, send me the details, and it saves me a lot of time. So I pay that person. You get it. So that's um, the first form of working online. These are administrative jobs. They are easy to do once you have a basic understanding of a computer you'd be able to do these kind of tasks. They could range from all types of tasks, from scheduling meetings for people, um, using certain tools that everyone uses, like Trello or Gmail, sending emails and all that. These are the administrative block of jobs. And most of them are low paying because they don't require a very um, specific kind of skill set. It's quite easy for anybody to learn these things and then start doing. I can even meet you. Hey, this is what I want you to do. Do this, 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 this. Spend about 20, 30 minutes teaching you and taking you through, and you should be able to do it and get me a good job. Now, the second type is the skill-based jobs. Okay, these jobs require a specific skill set. Like, for example, I know how to do graphic design on a computer. The thing is that you, everything you are doing has to be digital. If I know how to draw, and, you know an artwork on a canvas I need to know how to transfer that skill onto the the digital platform I could use a sketch pad you know those online pads those bamboo um, drawing pads and those things and transfer my skill onto the digital platform then I can now serve people that skill for money All right so whatever it is if you're a graphic designer you know how to use Photoshop, you know how to, with well, this one is, it's more skill based. So you must know how to use certain applications. Like if you're a graphic designer, you can use Photoshop. Um, if you are an editor, a writer, you know how to use WordPress, you, you know how to format a post, you know how to apply SEO to a post before you post it. You know, these are skill sets that you can learn. The thing is that it takes time to learn these skill sets. For me personally, I started I, I actually started with graphic design and I learned it from somebody. He taught me how to and then I realized that, okay, with the internet, the internet is basically a medium. 
So I was able to reach out to more people and find people who need graphic designers and then do jobs for them on a freelance base. All right. So the internet is basically a medium, but if you have a skill, you are much more valuable because you can do certain things that other people can't. So it makes you more valuable and more people reach out to you because you have a specific skill set that they might be looking for. I think the third way to actually make money online, which um, I think requires a bit more than just the skill, the raw skill, because that's, you're actually building a business. We term this as software as a service or SaaS. And this is you using your skill sets to create a software or to create an application that people can use and benefit from. They could actually pay you to use your service or maybe pay a monthly fee to continue receiving the kind of service that you'll be offering them. Um, I think this is one of the best things that the internet has brought to us because it makes things very, very easy. There are some services that I, I pay for every single month because I, I need these services. It makes my work very easy. They, they meet a need, all right? So if you are creating these kind of service-based businesses, you have to find a need. That's the thing, find a need online. Because the internet space is, a, is fairly a new space, we've just had the internet for about three decades or so. It's fairly new. So there are a lot of things that have not been invented yet. There are a lot of tools, there are a lot of services that are needed. And if you have the skill sets, or you could team up with other people who have different skill sets. If you're encountering a problem that you face every single day, you can try and digitize the solution and distribute it out to many people and you continue to get money for a very long time. Okay, so these are just some of the ways you can actually make money online. I always say there's no easy way out of this. You must learn it. You must have a skill. You can't just get up and um, say, I'm going to make money online. You need a skill. All right, so develop a skill. Upwork is a great place to find jobs, jobs that you can actually apply for and then um, execute. And at the end of the day, you get paid for the jobs that you do. I have a video about Upwork to teach you how to get started and all that. So you can check it out in the description or I'll put it somewhere around here. You can always check it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.